And so we've got the hybrid 100 watt and we want to control it with the Line 6 HX. So I had a tough time with this because we've got four inputs in the back and all I want to do is change channels. So the four inputs are designed so if you want to utilize all the boosts however you would program it. I don't really want to do that. I set it and go. So I've got the loop activated with the presence and I've got my rhythm master pulled even though I don't have a good rhythm sound yet and I believe it's because of the SD1 and I've got a wizard leopard on the way shipping from Kentucky tomorrow. Thank you Rick. So what did I do? Um, the problem that I kept running into which kept me from programming it, every other amp I've ever had, Soldano, Friedman, et cetera, all these high, other high-end amps, I would simply go into this guy, command center, and you'd set it here. Well, it's the same thing here. It's just the problem is this is TRX and that's TS. So I simply set this, one of them to two ring, and the other one to one ring, or I'm sorry, one tip. Sorry, two tip, two ring, that's it. So this activates the rhythm sound, rhythm channel. It's set up on two tip, you can see that there, external amp. I go out, exit, I go over to here, 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 two ring. That's it. I didn't mess with any of this stuff. It is set on all of them to this first lightning bolt. I didn't mess with any of this. The only other place you want to go to to make sure that you're good to go um, is global and then preferences and then make sure if it doesn't say preferences you scroll over right here and it needs to say amp one amp two which means that you're controlling it with the two jacks there. So that's basically it. Um, <clears throat> what I had to do, because I'm running a TRS cable, I ended up buying one of these adapters off of Amazon for 12 bucks. And when I bought them, I thought I was gonna end up, I was still, I couldn't figure it out. And I thought I was gonna have two TRS cables, which turns this into a ring and sleeve, as you can see. But as I read more of the emails back from Rick and just, you know, basically realized all I want to do is change channels. And so I just have it in there and that's it. That's the only setup. So you're probably wondering how it sounds. I'll give you a little so sound. If you're anything like me, you're wondering, that's great. How does it sound? Well, we pulled out an Anderson guitar. We're going to give it some riff testage for some classic Metal tones. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.